I still can't believe. I still can't wrap my head around it. I just, I just want to faint. I do a chilled reading vlog. So I've kind of been on a journey where I'm trying to read more new to me authors. And you know, you're thinking, oh, maybe I'll get some authors I've never heard of before. No, honey, I have not read some big, big authors. So I'm ashamed to say I haven't read them. So you know what? Now is the time to get my life together and start venturing out a little bit. Start taking more risks start reading more taboo you know so in today's video we are going to be tackling Nikki Sloan so I saw that another youtuber actually read this book I'll find out her name and I'll pop it on the screen somewhere but basically she read the book and then she gave it a four out of five stars and I was like hmm that is quite high so let me see if I can read it and I like it. Um, I think she said it was something like a wild ride, basically. Um, and she enjoyed it. So I was like, you know what? Let me give this a try because I'm all here for the wildness. I am here for the roller coaster. I want to be on a roller coaster and it, for it to be doing flips in books that I start to feel sick. You know, that's the kind of drama. That is the kind of tea I want in my books bring it on okay so this is just a chilled vlog of me reading the initiation by nikki sloan it shouldn't take me too long i don't think if it's as good as i think it's gonna be it's probably gonna be one sitting to be honest yeah as i said nikki sloan is a new to me author i've not read anything by her before so i'm super excited for the initiation the cover oh my god this cover looks 10 out of 10. It's making me want to go and try on my prom dresses and try on my graduation dresses. Like, this cover is chef's kiss. So this is called the Filthy Rich American series. And the first book is called The Initiation. Oh, I don't want to read too much into the synopsis, but the end basically says, I'll make a deal with the devil to save my family and I'll sell myself to the hills, but Royce will never own my heart. Okay, honey, let's get into it. So I won't talk anymore. Let's get into it. I'll chat to you guys when I'm a few pages in and I'll let you know what I think. Okay, guys, so I've been reading a little bit. Um, I'm a few chapters in, actually. I'm about, yeah, 30% in. And <laughs> I am loving it so far. I can tell that shit is about to happen. And things are going to hit the roof, basically. I feel like there's a big big moment that's gonna come i love the writing i think it's very easy to read and i'm i'm flying through it so far i really enjoy it it's really fast paced i think i'm gonna love this one guys it's a bit early to say still but there are a few things that are happening and you're like oh okay okay let me carry on reading to see where this goes so i will give you guys an update later on but i'm just gonna make a cup of tea and then just chill by the couch i've got my camera set up here so that's why i'm coming back here but who knows, maybe later on it might be a different setting, but I'll catch you guys in a minute. I'm speechless. I am actually speechless. I've just been sat here all day. I haven't even picked up my camera because I've just been so engrossed. So captivated buy this book that I have not looked left or right. I've literally been like this the whole evening. And right now, thank God for daylight saving because it's half seven. I haven't even had dinner yet. I've just been on my Kindle reading initiation, like the initiation. Guys, this book is a madness. The amount of drama, action, it's like a reality TV show. Like, you know what I mean? One of those ones where it's like a guilty pleasure, but you can't get enough of it. This is that for me. And I, the way it ended and things that happened, I just, I just want to faint. I just, I, I literally 
just want to fall over because some of the things that happened yo some of the things that happened i still can't believe i still can't wrap my head around it no do you know what do you know what i'm gonna, I'm gonna do it i'm starting the second book i'm gonna start the second book and i'm gonna keep the vlog going um you might not see me much but you'll definitely see my reaction but this was superb can i just say there was this one scene that was like whoa and if you don't want to be spoiled for it i would just recommend that you skip ahead a few seconds but the scene is the actual initiation act like the actual board meeting people oh god it was so good like it was so good like do you know what i'm still in shock but i was reading it and my eyes were like bulging out like i was like like i couldn't believe that that actually happened and do you know what right now in this second i really don't really like royce that much i'm just like come on have a backbone and stick up for her for once and you know you know tell your dad to shove it up you know like i've had enough of him being a pushover i want him in the next book to be strong and to stick up for her his girl we shall see because I'm going to read the second book right now. Oh God. I can already tell I'm going to bed at like 3am. I'm hooked. Nikki Sloan has me completely hooked. Wow. Let's read the second book. Oh, I didn't really give you the rating for the initiation as well. The initiation I'd give 5 out of 5 stars. It's probably the easiest 5 out of 5 stars I have given to a series. Like, probably. Like, ever. I even gave a review. So if you don't follow me on Goodreads, make sure to follow. I'll link it down in the description below. But I said, Oh. My. God. What in the world? Oh my <laughs> I'm so dramatic sometimes. But this book matched my level of dramaticness. Like, I loved it. But anyway, okay, let's get back to it. What in the world of scandal and betrayal did I just read? This book was so juicy and steamy, the plot twists and the drama were crazy and had me shooketh, okay? This book will stay with me for a long time. It was a crazy experience reading through this. There's not a boring part about this book. I loved it so much. It was so quick to get through and so much fun. Some of the things that played out had my eyes bugging out. And I've got the emoji. Oh my god. It's true though. It's true. This book was a crazy roller coaster. So much scandal, betrayal. Like, this, this is some rich, crazy ass people shit. This is not your everyday person. I'm telling you that now. Because they're bored. <laughs> they're doing a bit too much. I'm chatting shit. Okay. I'm really hooked and I am so excited to read the second book. So the second book is called The Obsession and this cover equally. Oh my god, look at the cover. Oh my god. She's got like a cocktail dress on and it's like cinched in and then it goes out. And I love that green as well. I love that green on her. Okay, so let's get into it. This one is The Obsession. Is someone going to be obsessed? Let's see. How gorgeous are these little flowers that I got the other day? Okay guys, so I'm about 20% in to the second book. The good thing is there's not a boring part at all. Like straight away you get where you left off and it's like, oh my god, she doesn't waste any time. Nikki Sloan gets straight to the point. It's fucking fantastic. So far, it's a five star. <laughs> just because guys i am not being this is not sponsored in any way or anything like that this is honestly my true opinion this book is a complete madness complete madness and i'm gonna continue with it and i'll let you guys know because oh so good you guys do you know what my issue is right my issue is this look i hardly ever favor you know the 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 um was it antagonist yeah like the bad person in 
a movie or in a book like I never find that person attractive you know like a lot of people well apart from Klaus okay maybe Klaus but anyone else no I don't really favor the bad character like out of Stefan and Damon I've always been team Stefan but now I'm team Damon okay but you know I've always rooted for Stefan and Lena so the bad guy just doesn't you know do it for me but McAllister, okay, <laughs> please tell me why, please tell me why I'm supporting this taboo relationship, why, why am I secretly hoping that they're gonna end up together, twisted mate, I'm telling you, I don't know why, but there's just something about McAllister, I think it's because even though like in real life he's probably like what, in his 50s, I don't really know, but way too old for me right but the way that Nikki Sloan has described him and is making his character come across is like he's got his shit together you know like he could be either a silver fox or he could be someone who takes care of himself grooms himself you know he's got the color right like do you know what I mean no grays in sight like his physique is on point like he looks after himself like he smells nice, he's got his suits, he's, got, he's established in his workplace, like he's got his own company, he's got his life together, you know? And then he's here, obsessing! Okay, that could be a spoiler, okay, let me... Is that a spoiler? No, it's not. Do you know what? Live on the edge a little bit. Okay, I can tell you now there's a steamy shower scene, there is a... Mate, there was this one scene... Like, I don't know how Nikki Sloan also incorporates action into this. Like, there was this scene, I won't give you too much detail, but there was this maze scene. And, um, there, I can't, I can't tell you because it's going to be kind of a spoiler, but just imagine there's a maze scene and, you know, you're thrown into the maze and you have to run and you have to find your way out and someone's chasing you, you know. There's thrilling aspects of this, um, but they're not too many, but it's like cat and mouse, you know, it's like a chase. I found that really, really fun to read. And there's just so many twists and turns. Everywhere you go, there's twists and turns. It's like, can I get a second to breathe? No, Nikki Sloan is like, there you go, there you go, there you go. She's dishing it out to us. She's dishing it out to us. And I wasn't ready. I should have learned my lesson from the first book. I truly thought it can't get any better than the initiation, you know? But I think I might like this one more than the first book. Just because a lot more happens and I feel more invested in the characters. As well as the fact that McAllister gets a little bit more of a, a light shone on him. I'm really enjoying it right now and I'm nearly finished. Also, if you've read this book, I won't give too much away just in case to those who haven't read it, but isn't it mad about the gift that McAllister gave? Like, isn't that crazy? Crazy. Like, can you imagine? Like, this is her father-in-law. Like, put it into perspective, okay? Yeah, I'm thinking like, oh my God, McAllister, McAllister. But if I put it into perspective, it is wild. It is a madness, okay? It's not, it's just crazy. And also, I'm actually fuming at Royce. I'm actually fuming at Royce, guys. Like, homeboy who? Who, like, who invented you? Like, for what? If you read this book, then you know what I'm talking about. Like, the fact that he has the audacity to try and do shit like that. I read that and literally, I nearly threw my Kindle across the room. I was like, how dare you? How dare you? I was thinking, McAllister, come and sort out your son. Sort out your son. You know what I mean? No, I'm not impressed with Royce. I'm not gonna lie. He better redeem himself. Right now, I'm not impressed with him. Um. Yeah, I can't really tell you what he did because I want you guys to be surprised when you read it. It's supposed to be shocking, right? And if I tell you, then you lose that shock factor. And obviously, I was shocked. I was like, what? 
when I was reading it. So I want you to experience that too, so I won't say. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So I've just finished it. The second book. <laughs> I'm flabbergasted. I'm gobsmacked. I am... Utterly and totally shooketh right now. I cannot believe that that is the way it ended. Um, and I'm, I, you know what, guys, I hate to say it. This was just supposed to be a video of me reading the initiation. And now that the deception has ended in that way, I've got to start the deception. I've got to do it. I've got to do it. I've got to find out what the fuck happens. I'm not being funny. Also, Nikki Sloan, why are you doing me like this? How, why have you got me so addicted? Why is this series so good? <laughs> I should be in bed. I should be sleeping, okay? Thank God it's the weekend because I would not be able to function if I had work tomorrow morning. So, without further ado, we're gonna get into the third book and I am so ready. The way that the second book ended, just totally wild, totally. Like I can't even, I don't even want to say anything so that when you read it, you will be as shocked as I am. So I said, this series is such a guilty pleasure of mine. It honestly had me hooked from start to finish and I can't wait to read the third book. That is 100% true. I'm dying for it. Buja. Buja, what is this behavior? I'm sorry, I kicked it by mistake. You can't kick it by mistake. Then pick it up if it bothers no, it you. No, it is. You will pick it up. You don't tell me what to do. I can tell you what you to do. You do not no, tell yes, me what to do. Does you do yourself. not tell me what to do. Or what? Are you going to hit me? Do you want it? I don't want it. Because you're asking for it. You're dying for it. Get off my back. Got it? It's the twisted mind games the scandal and the drama which sucks me in. This series is such an easy read and will have you shooketh and gobsmacked at every turn. I thoroughly enjoyed it. This book in the series was a, was a, uh, I can't fucking read, it's late, oh my God. This book in the series was a more taboo. I can't spell, <laughs> I can't write was a bit more taboo, you know what I'm saying. This book in the series was a bit more taboo because it was, it focused more on McAllister. So yeah, it was a bit more taboo um, because it's like the forbidden father-in-law, you know? But it wasn't taboo to the point where, I don't know, it wasn't K Webster the Wild taboo, you know what I mean? Because I guess they're not, yeah, they're, they're related by in-law, right? And they're not married yet. Utter madness. I literally hate certain characters in this book. I hate them with a passion. Um, I've never disliked characters more. But we're going to carry on and see if they can redeem themselves in The Deception. Oof, that title alone is like The Deception. Who is going to be the deceiver and who is going to get deceived? Why am I like this? <laughs> okay, let's stop. Oh my god, guys, you know, you know shit is gonna be good when it starts off where it ended, the last book ended. I am not ready for the drama, for the juice, for the catastrophe that is about to go down right now. I'm just totally not. And I'm so excited to find out how shit hits the fan. It's like I'm a part of this family. I feel like I'm on the sidelines, like a fly on the wall. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I just feel like I'm involved. I'm invested. I want to see how, what happens and who, and who ends up with who. And, oh, I'm so excited. So far, great start. Great start. Um, I wish I could tell you more, but I don't want to spoil it for you guys. Why is McAllister like this? He literally has no chill. He has no chill. He gives no fucks. He literally doesn't give a fuck. Like, no fucks is given. He does what he wants, whenever he wants. He takes what he wants. But then again, he's like, he's evil, but he's my favorite character. Like, how does that make sense? Like, 
what does that say about me? <laughs> Like, I hate to think of it, but like, what does that say about me? I'm sure I'm not the only one who thinks McAllister's the shit. Like, let me know in the comments if you agree. But Royce is kind of redeeming himself a little bit. So far, the heroine is really trying to control her life and like take basically her destiny into her own hands now. She's got more of a backbone now. In terms of her plans, she's not reliant on the men. And so there's there's been a lot of character development on her part, which I love. She's not this naive girl anymore. She's, you know, gone through a lot. She's experienced a lot. So she's come out of it stronger and she just doesn't take shit from Roy saw McAllister and I think that's great. I love her for that. So I've just been sat here reading I actually have an obsession guys with these Madeleines. They're gluten-free. You can get them at like Sainsbury's or Waitrose I literally love them. I just thought I'd just have a little snack and I've made um, ginger and lemon tea And I'm gonna continue reading Okay guys, so I just wanted to give you an update. I haven't got long left. The hair is frazzled. I'm just, oh my God, I need to get in the bath and just get all my makeup off and go to bed. But I can't leave this book. I can't put this book down. I'm not being funny, I'm addicted. So I have 20% left. Excuse me. How I thought, okay. I truly thought that this book could not get any wilder any madder, any crazier. Please tell me why it has. Please tell me why. At the end of the book, this shit is hitting off again. Hmm? Shit is going down, you guys. You guys don't even, I can't even tell you. Oh, I don't even know how to articulate this. I don't even know how to say this. All I can say is just read this book. I'm gonna finish it. And I'm gonna get back to you. I finished it. Do you know what? I've, I've, I've done, I've, that's it, I'm out. Get the fire exit door. <laughs> no word of a lie, get the fire exit door. I'm off. No, fuck this, I'm out of here. Get that fire exit door, I'm off. No. Oh. My gosh. I... Let me just shut the door, because my mum is going to be wondering, like, what on earth has gotten into you? But, oh my goodness. I'll just put you there, because I am still gobsmacked. I just... I'm not even being funny. How? How did shit escalate to that level? How did it get there? Nikki Sloan really took the narrative, yeah? And did this with it. Did this with it. She's playing with my emotions. Actually playing with my emotions. Driving me wild. Like, look at the <laughs> The hair is frazzled. It's fucking frazzled. Because you've only got straighteners in here. You haven't got heated rollers. I'm not going to be able to sleep without thinking about this book. I'm not being funny. This footage is already so long. I cannot read the last book. But the way that I want to. The way that I want. I'm itching to. But I'm going to hold my horses. I don't want to overwhelm my brain too much. But. Oh my god, this was so, so far, this is one of the best series I think I've ever read, romance series. Because it doesn't take you long at all, you can get through it so quickly, it's drama packed, it's wild, it's crazy, it's got steam, there's betrayal, there's conflict, there's... I think there will be triggers for this book, this series but it's not too dark um it's so good oh my god i hope that one day this becomes a tv show because or like i, I think a movie is going to be a bit too crammed that like, what will happen with after will happen where they miss out a lot of like the details from the book so i think a tv show would be brilliant this tv show will have all of us hooked 
Like, we would not be able to stop watching. We would binge watch this series. It's so bingeable. Look, guys, please try this series. This is in no way, shape, or form sponsored. I'm not being paid to tell you this. This is just my experience. And I had the best experience reading this book. Granted, it is way past my bedtime, but I had a good time while reading it. That's all that matters. You know, if you enjoy it, then let me know. And if you've read this book as well, actually, let me know what you thought. Message me, I'd love to know. And we can chat about it as well, some of the wild things that happen. Trust me, you're going to want to have someone to be like, oh my God, with. Because this series is incredible. And I am so thankful that I came across it because now I'm like, I want to read more of Nikki Sloan's work. Like, I want to read more of her stuff. In conclusion, I gave that one a five star as well. All of them were five stars so far. I have loved reading them. They were a roller coaster, but it was exactly what I needed right now. I just wanted to escape this quarantine life, you know, and just put myself in someone else's shoes and completely just forget reality. And this was amazing in doing that. It was spot on. I hope you enjoyed this little vlog. I don't even think it was a vlog, but video or whatever. And if you have any other books that you want me to read, let me know and I will read those as well. Take care. Bye-bye.